this tool you're about to see is very important for visualizing the data and analyzing it and it's really helpful when you don't really know what you're hunting for so it's not a structured reporting tool but it's a great tool for us to analyze such things as for example the the warehouse heat map I was looking for such a tool for a long time and Microsoft Research came up with one so for example what I, I have here is a data set which is just a CSV file based on the data that I have in an Excel file and I imported it and I'm attaching it to the email so that you could play with it yourself if you want to then uh, what you see is a couple of aisles and these are the input output operations and I made that 100% of them is the most important locations so they are colored appropriately so the coldest ones are the ones that are not being used and the red is one of the most used locations and you can see that it's really easy to go and change the layout of the tool which in a, a graphical packaging like in R would be really difficult to achieve and here just in no time we, we have created a heat map and let's say we add this view to the inside bar and done we have a nice graph let's take a look for example it's XY it doesn't factor for the height of, of the shelf so let's do a faucet by XYZ and I need only three bins there and now it shows me this is the first level this is the second level shelf and this is the top shelf where the pallets are capped so this was really easy to achieve as you saw it's all touch enabled then other things which we could do here we could say squarify and then we could say faucet by height and fixed so now we have statistics and we're gonna see that item M 016 is really high moving item and compared to the other item to it the other items are pale in comparison so to speak and uh, what we see here is that regardless of the unit of measure it's a really high moving item and when we select one we could also see the details okay this not item right now is fixed to this location and I have 91 input output operations for pallets maybe it makes sense for me to move this uh, and reassign a fixed location to a more favorable one or to the most favorable one so immediately just by putting it this way I see my high moving items and low moving items so let's save this to the insides and let's add it here one other thing I wanted to, to say I, I don't want to faucet this and I want to sort it by number of input output operations and color by that X axis so now I could see what's my least moving item it's right here and it is D03 in this location and I only picked it once so maybe I should I should not even carry this uh, myself but when I say okay D03 and selecting this what it is it says oh okay so you actually have it high moving but in a different unit of measure so meaning that I mostly move it in cases and that could probably affect the way I, I want to sell it maybe 
I penalize for ordering the eaches, but in in cases I incentivize people to pick that. So it's really nice, nice tool to hunt for data. And other things like what's my highest moving location? And this highest moving location is loading. Okay, I don't want that. Loading is always going to be busy, so I'm just going to exclude this. What's the next one? I don't want that. It's a packing location. I'm going to just go and exclude this. And I'm going to use touch. And okay, M17. I'm moving high volume of this in eaches. Interesting. Let's take a look further. Yeah, it, it's one of the most high moving items anyways. So, and you can see that it's real easy for me to go and hunt for dependencies and and look for this data as well as I could just go and make it even beautiful like like this or even like this and now my warehouse looks artsy and really interesting to to go hunt for data and it has many more options what I would uh, ask from you is to take a look at this link take a look at the, uh, the presentation for a couple of minutes and since it's a app that is in the research stage and it's not a product yet provide your feedback tell the product team that you actually want it to be a part of a package or a standalone app because it's a fantastic tool to visualize the data and thank you for your attention.